meat. Previously, having finished his home, York built a fence, bought a net, went to field, dug a hole, and found meat. Well, weeks till winter, and we have food for the season. For the current season. So with all that, Fjord is now even more free to enjoy the autumn, doing whatever. Bean is nearly ready. And very importantly, aside the meat, we got this skin. This, on its own, is most of a set of winter clothing. The parts that Fjord sold off to get started here will be replaced with this elk. Times are alright. These are good days to Fjord. Until things cool off, your guest to find more things to do. We're pretty established here. With our fence, in our fields, our sheep. So I think among Fjord's other goals to prepare for winter, snap out over here on the world map. See the nice dot there where the pit trap still is. I'm thinking that we want to set up a little fishing lodge on the sea. If not a full on building, then at least just a shelter, another raft, a supply pit. All the fundamentals of Fjord will need. So that when the pond freezes over, you know, as much as it's entirely feasible to go out and ice fish on the pond, why not go to the ocean? Ocean is always ready for fish. And while we're at it, make a lot of cord. We have a lot of use for cord, and we can make large amounts of garbage cord. That's another thing Fjord needs in fair amount. We need cash. A couple more items that Fjord would like to buy for convenience. He hasn't quite accounted for yet. So I'm thinking put a fair amount of time into the workflow for making more arrows. Night is a separate time from late evening. That's a bit more. About an orb tour. Yeah, there we go. Now it is night. Night proper, where not yet. Soon.
Oh right, I also had I had these roast cuts to get through. Yeah. Right, don't need to dip into smoked fish yet. Actually, with all this fat left over here, how do I render that? Tools are necessary to put this in a more preserved state. Hopefully, Fjord will live through many seasons. That's usually the goal. Bjorg's ambition of adequate comfort through most times of year. Are you ready now, Skin? Yes. Ragged and rinsed, and let's get that tanned. It takes appreciably longer to finish processing an entire elk worth of skin. However, it is done. 17 pounds of ragged elk fur. We're good for winter. Well done, Fjord. What excess load? Why am I? Oh, that, yeah. Right, that's just the generic message. We have the fatigue from spending six hours pummeling a sheet of fur till it is ready. The usual Fjord life. Extremely tired in early afternoon. Let's Yeah, let's be awake. Let's do a few low impact things. Carry us through to then being vaguely back in sync. May as well get the fur processing out of the way. Let's see, what do we need for this? The goal is a set of mittens. And already nearly excited. Yeah, that'll happen. Okay. Jorg must sleep. Mittens, shirt, hood, pants. And then, whatever further article of clothing we can make with the leftovers. Go ahead and wear those in celebration. How do those look on the armor profile? Yeah, not bad. All 
our goal for a set of winter clothing is to have green insulation on as much of the body as possible. With usual exceptions being the hands and the face are especially difficult to layer stuff onto. And after that night's rest, Bjorg has gained understanding of fire. Feel unity. I'm gonna go ahead and finish making all this clothing to get it out of the way. Yeah, there you go. It's the shirt and gloves working together. It gives us green on the wrists. So then once we throw on the overcoat, that's going to give us all green on the torso. Oh, we have a fur hood left over still. Yeah, see, looking more and more serviceable with each moment. Then just additional leggings and some further headgear. Maybe a cape. Take all the fur off for now, though. It is still the warm season. York cannot afford to be restrained. And yeah, the armor scream, duh, the armor scream here. As a matter of phrasing in the top right, you're saying against warmth. But over there, warmth is protection against cold. It's just carrying over from it being the same menu for protection from tearing edges, crushing, points, bludgeons, etc. So, what would a cloak cost us? Another 14 pounds of furs. We're already over budget for that. A cloak is pretty extensive. We can do leggings. And another hood, though. If we're allowed to stack hoods. Or we could make fur shoes. Layer of fur to go with our boots.
Or on the other hand, we could make several caps and then sell the least bad of them. Okay, we're out of fur. We have used all of fur. Oh. There's half a point of it left. I don't think we're going to have any use for this bat. Bat is going to waste. Might be able to buy something with our five crude hats, though. Or, no, those are the least quality. No one will buy these. These hats are for Fjord only. Perhaps they'll be accepted as gifts. How many hats am I allowed to wear? Just the one. Unfortunate. Well, only the one fur cap. Oh, well, these things happen. As far as I know, the spirits aren't interested in any non-edible sacrifices. Can't just toss any old thing into the other world. Yeah, there we go. Now we have green legs. Put the full loadout. Only face and shoes are going to be not fully insulated. And we'll actually have decent insulation against several kinds of damage. We could use more neck protection. If we could find a scarf.
Yeah, looking to make more ammunition. And consume the last of our, uh, our residue here. There. It is done. Or will be once we're able to... Once Fjord can bring himself to consume the last of this meal gone wrong. Good times. I was a good to go check the net and the trap. Make sure to continue doing that routinely, just in case any further things fall in there. We do have a whole one of these. Yeah, the net does good work. If we can get several net and put them somewhere that's permanently fishable, it's going to be a very reliable food supply. Especially if we start to get less bad nets. All right, into the wilderness then. Okay, this time it remembered where we stood last.
Very good. Yeah, I'm thinking of a little location scouting. Hmm, there are some wild herbs here. Do you know what these are, Fjord? Small medicinal plant. Harvest some of that sweat herb. And let's see, what are these other shrubs? Crowberry. Just edible berry. place like this is what I would have in mind for a little winter fishing outpost. I was on the lookout for more stones. There are many uses for stone. Up here by the edge of the woods. Even a whole log Waiting to go. Nice. Though, for sheltering purposes, I just want a small tree. Stones have use in making deadfall traps. If I wanted to build more houses, if we want stone, put fireplaces into those. And a particular interest of Fjord are the mods. Fjord may yet seek out the mysteries of steel. Takes many stones to build a forge. The classic Fjord experience. be back out here with an axe and we'll build ourselves a new raft. And just having that out here on the shore will make this whole place ready for summer fishing, well winter fishing. The other fishing. Hmm. 
Yeah. Vintage Fjord. Brief nav, under half, finish shelter. Wake up, finish shelter, walk home. Good times. Wait, what category do my uh, do my herbs go into? If they aren't sitting in my inventory, did I misplace them? Where could be those herb? Let me go put down the stones. Garden status is all right. One complimentary log here. Start a local pile of scrub wood. All according to procedure. So that's an appreciable mass of arrows. Let's get those on the ground. Jorg need not be fully loaded at this time.
There's another one. Intriguing. That is mostly a good thing. Our trap may yet do further work, or we have reason to set up more traps. Alright, so let's be back tomorrow to carve and assemble those. Then we'll have our raft. We'll have our access to the sea. Sleep well, Trap. Our faithful ally, holding the ground. Hoping to make at least an arrow a day. Make that a part of the schedule. Slowly get better at it and convert our giant pile of feathers into money. So also, if we're going to encounter whole large animals in the wild, perhaps it is time to carry the bow. Bow and our twelve finest arrows. Be ready to take initiative. Animals in Unreal, you know, large, tangible animals, 
will very consistently loiter around a territory. Spot a something in an area, you can expect that you will see it around until something destroys it. And if I were to build a fresh cabin out here, probably on this tile, this vicinity make like a little two by two interior situated in this nook. Easy access to that pond. Our new raft. Much worse than our other raft. However, it will suffice. We can go to sea. And with that, Bjork actually gains a great degree of freedom of travel. You can see numerically there. Well, actually, it's not reflecting how fast Bjork is able to move. Raft was not getting much speed reading at all. Okay, so what happened was, yeah, right. right. I harvested those plants, and that leaves the plant sitting on the ground waiting to be collected. Let's get our herbs that have been drying under the sun and the rain. We now have some herb. Importantly, with this. Now, Fjord could go anywhere on the coast, and if he finds a heavy object that looks useful, and just put it on the raft. And then easily bring it home. Well, that's a preliminary work done. We have a presence on the coast. Jorg Islander may one day return to sea.
It's fine. Probably checked it too soon. The thing is, I would like to move it out to sea. And yeah, we're still lively. Grab the rest of our ammo. I'm gonna jaunt into town. Yeah, well, this is almost ready, but it probably belongs to the town. Well, one way to find out. If the sorrel is ready. No. No one shouted at me. Despite evidence of recent human activity. Alright, those ones are on public land. These ones are probably owned, since they're in the same tile as the village. But I will be able to snag some public flax. Or someone in this town had a cooking pot. Suppose not. Must have been down the way. Wild bean. There we go.
All right, we are getting somewhere then. 31 rough is half of it. There. Excellent. We have a vessel in which to soup. There. That was one of my other important purchases to get out of the way. Jorg is now much better equipped to make use of whatever happens to show up. Mediocre iron. Ah, oh, there's the sage. Wise man, what is fire? Where? This. Ritual that greatly boosts your success rate for starting fire. You know the mystery. The one weird trick to ignite things. Alright, that is as many stones as we will get away with in one trip. It is not the time of day to fight a stag. Get home with my pot. Isle of Rocks. Well, eight stone. Also, yeah, may as well fill it with water. And so with one of those. Let's see, yeah, stove is no longer hot. And it's all good. There's all good. Don't have any flour. Flour necessary or optional? So now we can prepare foods. More elaborate foods. Also, so what's a what's a sorrel? Jorg. You identify this plant. What's it for? We'd have to be looking at the pile of it.
edible herb. Will produce seeds when threshed, so it can be cultivated. Takes only 45 days to grow. Alright, not bad. So I should thresh these. Put them back in the pit. Splitting the plant into seeds and leaves. Leaves usable for food. Seeds usable as seeds. Put down the axe. We've done it. Well, we produced a relatively small amount of forage. However, success. We can create plant food. And given the right materials to work with, perhaps someday a bread? We are also allowed to dry berries and mushrooms, so I should probably do that to the berries that I got. And that d does cost no cord. That's convenient. 
these are directly edible. Also nice. Fine snack herb. I'm going to take the net down to the sea. And throw these branches in the pond. We'll look into building or buying more net. Yeah, that stag seems to be pretty fond of the shore here. Our new neighbor. Plenty of tracks back here. And also a glutton in the area. The question has been raised of what that is. It's like a wolverine? After spending an evening watching the sunset over the sea, picking berries, suddenly realize how to stop bleeding. Revelations of blood. The wisdom of the spirits.
berries have their uses, but they're not... They're not a load-bearing supply of food. It can be used to add nutrition and flavor to other dishes. You won't live well off of berry alone. The complementary food. A support food. Yeah, Fjord has managed to avoid injury so far. Hasn't yet run across anything hostile. probably get rid of these. I should... I will make better cloth handling equipment. These were just assembled out of wood. They can be replaced. Since if we're allowed to go harvest that wild flax, then that means we'll get to try our hand at cloth. The whole fabric process, that'll be a fun fall activity since everything else resolved pretty cleanly for us. We have food. We have home. We have one iron. Things are doing all right. All right, so let's see here. Cool, comb, distaff, and loom. For which we need steak. Also a steak. Steak, a staff, and a tie. And then, yeah, there we go. The actual mechanism is a bit more elaborate. Well, let's get started. Since for making equipment, we want to set a good foundation to work from. We're looking to have Decent steak. All right, that's a start. All right, four okay stakes.
take a couple shots at making an okay one of each of these. We want at least adequate. There we go. If you settle for lower quality parts at any point in a complex multi-step process, that's going to cascade down the entire thing and leave you with not good results. I expect the building tutorial wants me to build a regular segment of wall, where what I tried to do to trick it was tear down and rebuild a window. So I could set aside a day to refurbish a regular wall segment, that'll probably do it. Okay, decent heckling cut on. We have two objects. Just eat the fish as it is, or what if we soup? Okay, I have to start from raw for soup fish. All right, I can work with that. Let's go get raw fish. Lake Welling, we will try a soup. Wrong offering. There we go. It's fine. make a couple of soup out of all this. I have no vegetable to offer this soup. 
I can make fish and more fish. Do you accept medicinal herb? Alright, let's cease experimentation there. We'll just put the water down, roast the fish as normal. Once we have the harvest, or if we went and pilfered more sorrel, fish and bean. Reunited at last. I'm gonna move the water over. Put this here in the wood. And bring the soaked branches over to the workbench. There we go. Gradually sort the place out a bit more. The other fish will be there in the morning. Right, carrying on with making our... Well, I'll build the rest of this fence. Very good. And now the rest of our... our cloth tools. Staff, a stake, and tying equipment. Not so good at staves. All right. Ooh. 
what we need for an attempt. Well, that and as good a cord as we can find. Might take a while. I've managed to generate decent primitive cord before. It is possible. We just mostly get terrible cord. See, these are very fresh. The stag will startle and run when it encounters us, but it's quite curious, quite adventurous. It'll continue to poke around. It lives here. These are pines. May have also gone back to that one too soon. That sounded much larger than a sewer rat. Hmm. The sounds of nature. Viewers have been here. The moment the mass here finishes finishes the process, once the meat mound is done fermenting, there are no further food concerns for the rest of the season. Those fish will be ready tomorrow, another week before the elk mass is finished curing. Might help to get specialized knives. We've been using and a top quality, but 
generic knife. The all-purpose knife. Broad knife is preferable for most crafts. I don't see all the bad staves here. I don't think I have a filler task for staves, so these should become firewood. Rocks into the rock pile. Small knife is better for most things? Well, for most precision things. Alright. We will look for small knife. Right, broad is the good leather working knife. Wait, did I... Did I have another adequate steak laying around? Guess not. Actually, not going to make it this tree since it's the old sheep tree. Sell this one over here. You don't have to actually indicate any particular tree when you ask permission. It's the contrast. Everything over here looked brighter. It's because this is getting more... more muddy, more fall. It's harvest month now. It's time for plants. Any day now, the bean will be ready. Well, our uh, immediate berries might be ready soon. Yeah, two weeks. One or two weeks. And we have a lot of these blueberries around our immediate vicinity.
Let's go try to buy a knife. Fishing village should have many knives. Be diligent about our trap first. We'll probably invest effort into installing more traps in that block of woods. If we're going to make that whole broader area into Fjord's hunting ground. an opportunity to get more rocks. Community has no shortage of rocks. Nobody claims ownership of rocks. Even the Mulfer Fjordgard. There's a rough broad knife. So, terrible. No one would buy it from us. Why should I buy it from them? Mitelli, are you carrying a knife? You have an okay broad knife. How many arrows for your knife? more than we have. But we probably can't afford small knife either. Oh well, this trip can become about rocks. Rocks and checking on the free range plants. More heathers up here. And I suppose we can now but more that's ready yeah, over here. Sorrels were always ready. We can now rule out if I just got away with a crime the other time or if these are actually public property. No, no one's complaining. I will put down the rocks until I am done with the harvest. Yeah, we can get all these sorrel. And then be back later in the month for other things.
can take too long to get a fjord's work worth of each plant. Nice. Nice harvest. Next year, we will produce a lot of sorrel. Just throw that all in the cellar for now. been to the other side of the lake in a while. I what kind of wild plants we have there. Probably mostly the same as we have on the near shore. You never know, there might be a few differences. There can be further fresh relics. Mostly there's more berries. Hmm, bird. In future years, we could throw down snares next to all the, uh, the charming mushroom. Don't know what it is, just know it isn't right. You could throw down snares near the berry bushes and collect many a bird.
also don't want to wander too far off this way since I did park the raft over here. Need to bring that home. I wonder if my fence is keeping birds out. Not snared many birds since the fence went up. Have they all wandered off? There, you made it fewer. You did good. Alright, yeah, birds are still interested in our side of the lake. As long as they come around, then they are at risk of getting snared. Good times for all. Just occurred to me, another simple thing I can probably make for myself. That doesn't have to be particularly good. Grab some of this bird leather. Oh, that's actually. Wow, that's quite large. Hmm, never mind. Won't make a beverage skin for some time.
Yeah, I'm willing to give this a shot. Wood is not a big expense. And inferior is not... It's not the worst level of quality. Only second worst. It's potentially feasible. Got one. All right, we'll get to this in the morning. Throw that down on the workbench. We'll get back to you, mangled grass carcass. For tomorrow, bird processing. You got it. Big thing will be the loom. That involves the most other material going into it. Yes, and also six whole threads. That offers all sorts of opportunity for quality to be undermined. I have a whole log right there.
from which a single decent board. Oh, well, that happens. Any day now, meet So, the quality levels here. These are worth baseline. These are worth half. These are worth one and a quarter. That is 19 arrow of value for trade purposes. Points are heavy.
There we go. That's a healthy wood pile. The optimal fuel wood is obviously cutting off appropriate firewood segments and portioning those out as needed. Still, though, you can get plenty of backup utility out of subpar lumber work. These are resolving over the next couple of days. Then the Mead Mound. Well, okay, the Mead Mound in the middle of that. Within the week, we will harvest the mass. I'm going for these boards. Tulen tuossa sulkemaan panun päätä painamaan diskoa vilua vettä paikoille palaan heille tulen tuki poltamille panun ehti paitamille. To my understanding, fire actually only has to be present at the initiation of any of these preserving processes. And then the pile of material will just go. It's on a timer. You gotta work on your board smithing. He is improving at temper. The more we do this, he just doesn't get boards though. Oh, that skin, right. Hopefully that hasn't gone bad yet. Still good. It's fine.
All right, we did a bit much. Too much pummeling. The pummeling is the last step of the leather making. You can't pre-pummel it. Important leather science has occurred. Carrying on with that arrow a day plan. All right, the second decent board has occurred.
we are perhaps getting places regarding lumber. Squirrel encounter. Well, hold on. Am I am I carrying ammo right now? No. Nailed it. Bjork has hunted. Bjork has killed. Without the aid of rope. How long will this take to process? About an hour. More large spruce left over here.
the third decent board. There, the slightest bit of fur. Killed with our own two hands. Thanks, nature. Since I'm already settling for an inferior spindle, I think I will let inferior cord into the loom. Since furthermore, the thought process here is once we have any manner of weaving equipment, we can start making cloth, and then cloth is probably a much better foundation for everything tying related then sticks we'll bootstrap our way up there Moore's law but with ancient cloth making technology which is actually the origin of computers Jorg cannot identify this mystery grass. There's more sorrel here, though.
for the fine load of that. Powerful farming strategies, scavenging weeds off your neighbor's lawn. Oh, these nettles are ready. And they harvest so smooth. Come on, Fjord. Just a bit more. Just haul home this nearly 100 pounds. Free range plant. We'll be back for the rest on another trip. We're still lively. Yeah, Fjord could handle this same day. Go ahead and throw all this down on the threshing bench. Then we go get more. And that's still just the start of it. Once the rest of these plants start to come in.
Good times abound. All right, so let's see here. Step one, soak. Uh, what, what do you mean doesn't meet requ- there's water, right here. Do you need domesticated water? Hmm. Yeah, that's water. But why won't nettles? Or do I have to thresh them first? Nope, it uses the full plant for that. Plenty that I'm using for seeds. Getting leaves instead. I'll have to find uses for them. Push them into the water, maybe. Or get into the water myself. There we go. Soak the Fjorg thoroughly in water, and then also the nettles. Now we're talking. One hundred and eighty plant. 
No, let's see, just to think forward here. So then, once I've done that, you dry the plants, which is, yeah, just take the plants and put them in not water. Then, you have to defiber the plants with a club and a comb and a knife. Then yarn. We're gonna need more spools. And then yarn on loom. Produce claw. Be up all night, threshing. Right, just because the sun has risen doesn't mean the day just started. Press the fjord. Soon. Meet. We're a bit cold. A slightly dampened fjord. a moment to warm them up. One more inferior cord and we can throw together the loom. And for some things, the quality of every ingredient isn't equally weighted for importance. We're still able to make fine arrow with terrible cord.
one axe. Nice. There it is. One decent loom. So we'll have to make many additional spools. In which case, if the quality of the spool the spools don't particularly matter, then I could make a whole bunch of spools. One would think that they're not going to have too much of an impact since it's it's the rod you're wrapping the fabric of you know, the the thread around. even take terribly long to create. Take all my fabric gear and bring it out here onto the lawn. It begins. Resolution of meat.
päällä yksi vain nämöinen kirja vallaa kärme hellää kolmella koko konsolalla päällä kuus kirja kannen päällä tai vahan yhdessä päällä pystyy myös vedona rahi rautu synnennästä. We will want to find more nets. Quick turn around on these berries. Well, because these are particularly small plants. Because of how long the, the smoking process took, the, the mound is divided into many small modules. They will resolve one by one. So I only need 30 of these stones for metal related things. Set them aside over here. If I am to engage in metal work at some time. Twenty of these. Before we'd be able to forge. He's managed to do whatever he believes in. Some would say he'd never be able to build a house, or slay an elk, or carry home and process a slain elk. Each step of the way, he's proven himself. Well, if I am going to do that, one thing that needs to get put into motion, aside from picking a spot 
could actually set things up probably over here. Need to dig one hole. At least one hole. Probably a couple of holes. Eventually. Want to get started though. This will become a charcoal pit. As we are to do metal, we will need fuel. Fancy, enriched fuel. Refined wood. And with that in mind, I'll drag these. Over towards what will become Metal Zone. Right next to Fabric Zone. There we go. Split those up into the two piles I need. are tired and it is late so I can sink back up with the sun. Is that the last of not quite yet the last of meat pile. Fifty meat remain. Ordinary day. Make another arrow, throw it on the pile. The usual routine. Scrape another layer up. There, it's done. We have processed the mound. The last meat is in captivity. 200 elk. couple of weeks until bean and likewise until turnip
go check out the field. And also, there's another field on the other side of town. By the looks of it. It may be similarly stocked and unguarded. Two weeks until barley, flax, and hemp. So we are still just able to skim nettle and sorrel. As far as experiments in domestic industry, Jorg will make an earnest attempt at cloth, and if his body can withstand cloth, then maybe we escalate to iron. The cloth of the earth. If Jorg cannot withstand cloth, then better we learn that at the loom than over an anvil. I'll retrieve the pile of, of rocks there on the last day of harvest when there is nothing left to steal out of this field. Cross town. That's all definitely still in the village. However, now we're out of bounds. This is not town. This is wilderness. Only the spirits rule here. Oh, these are on the verge of being ready. Tomorrow. Alright, that's one load. Bring that home. Throw a bunch of these on the threshing bench. And so I also want to collect seeds so I can plant these closer to home in what is less ambiguously Fjord's property. Ah, bird. Yeah. 
and a quite large one. It would save effort to thresh on site and only carry back leaves and seeds. Though, on the other hand, that is more time we spend out here under prying eyes. And it's not, not a particularly vast yield that we have going on here at a time. Perhaps in the future, when we are working from a field we built ourselves from first principles. Yeah, we could like take the far side of the pond and wow, here's a lot of nettle. That would also let us take advantage of the raft as a hauling tool where needed. Another 109 pounds of sorrel. Yeah. Doing alright. Through 180 into the lake. Fresh eleven of it, and I have another forty-three sitting there. Yeah, fifty and some. 
see how much else is sitting in that field. Wherever it was. Hmm. Pleasant grass. Jorg cannot identify pleasant grass. It's quite nice. Wherever those nettle. There they are. All right, that's a pretty good hole. And it looks to be most of what's actionable in this field at the moment. But this field... Very. And further plan. Okay, so now we're on, yeah, the tile south of town.
All right, so just a survey here again before we head off with this load. Extensive very another large patch of sorrel. Two of sorrel, another of nettle. It's a field of the stuff that's ready right now. Very nice. Or, wait, hold on. We'll get a bunch of that together and try to soak it all at once. And our dried berries are ready. Most of them. Maybe farm life is something Fjorg's actually cut out to handle. He already has you know, a quarter of a skill bar and I mean he's been getting by attempting other things that he's worse at. In the future, when we plant our own generation of these, they'll be, you know, packed together in some sort of nice, even grid. Living in higher densities. On something, you know, clearly marked and fenced in as a farm that is property of an individual and not this very open public field. where we are taking in the bounties of the land.
start. Come on, Fjord. Come on. Easy does it, Fjord. Nearly there, and then you can take a break from harvest. Well, drop the nettles out here since most of those are going in the lake. Another healthy mass. Starting every day right with handmade ammunition. Fine looking bean. So we get these soaking. All right, I hold the nettles. Away we go. All right, there we go. Few weeks we collect hundreds of nettles. Convert to fiber and thread. Great fabric.
in the process of living out here, Fjorg is juggling multiple tasks that would, for a given person of the era, be a full-time job as part of a family. Fjorg is industrious. Put a fire on to dry off. Couple of boards in there. Now, we thresh! Well, we got through some of it. I wonder if I uh, take my uh, my box here. How do I fill this? Okay, so if I grab the seeds. There we go. Very nice. I've filled this, but all right, so I have more boxes. Not ones that are empty. I could I could make more boxes. I can get bark. Let's toss it all in the pit for now, but we can eventually sort that into cubes. Yeah, how much how much bark per box? Only half a pound. We can make a couple of boxes here. Throw our boxes in the hole. The morning, the war on plants continues. Probably throw all the berries in a bag as well. well. Definitely get the sorrel. Sorrel seeds as well into boxes.
We're gonna need more boxes. But remarkable if you're to be able to keep exact count for every leaf and seed. At no point does he settle for a vague estimation. Jorg does not deal in many. That sounded much larger than a sewer rat. Hmm. We might need more ammo. Very careful to protect the harvest. All right. Or no, okay, it is. It is telling us that this is too much to try to thresh at once. All right, let's spread it out a little. How about now? No. How about now? Yes. Well, Fjord. Get right back to it then. Always more threshing to do. Okay. Now we make boxes. We need space to store our many, many leaves. all of this before we even think of getting involved with the next layer of plants. There's a lot more plants out there. I wonder if the basket is larger than the box? It is, substantially. Bark box is relatively small. How much more bark does it need then? Six. A full six of bark.
They'll keep making boxes. Our berries are ready. Well, some of them are. Still need a couple more boxes to handle all these leaves. See that partial bark just sitting around.
I'll still need more bark. No, that was something that was quietly throwing me off for a while. Feel unity with the world. Nice. The nettle leaves are being encountered in bunches. There's much smaller number of leaf from nettle than from sorrel. Even though we are dealing in similar masses of each. bag here. Add that to the process. Bag of leaves to go with my many, many boxes of leaves. Oh, we're out of soaked branches inside. Very nice. Even if we make only one arrow a day, that's hundreds of ammo per year.
There. That is done. We have harvested and threshed. And all those together are probably well in excess of the number of plants that Fjord would ever bother to plant on his own land. So, yeah, we have ourselves an investment. We have capital. Alright, there we go. That's what happens if you leave a net out for too long without checking it. It will be filled of inedible fish. We might put another pet on the coast further along in the year. Like for now we have we have meat. We have many things in our cellar. There's not much to worry about with regards to current stock. Need to wait for demand to catch up with supply here.
Yeah. All right. Nine more weeks to winter, and a lot's been done. Yeah, about as much as he can be. Jorg seems ready for the season. Question of what else he will get up to over the fall. Good looking loom. Perhaps next time. What do you think?